Hello, and welcome to Software Architecture Monday. My name is Mark Richards. I'm a hands-on software architect and also the founder of developer2architect.com. In today's lesson, lesson 37, we'll take a look at translating quality attributes or those illities we talk about as a software architect into business concerns. This question came up in a recent three-day software architecture training that I did, and I thought it was a very, very good question because a lot of times we do have difficulty communicating our illities to business stakeholders. For example, uh, we as an architect might say, yes, we're supporting high levels of agility, fault tolerance, and testability in the architecture. And of course, as an architect, I know exactly what each of these illities or non-functional quality attributes means. However, a business stakeholder hears this and they say, what? That's the problem I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about really how to translate these illities to a business stakeholder in terms of business concerns. You see, as a software architect, we talk about all these illities, uh, non-functional quality attributes, and, and what I usually call architectural characteristics, you know, performance, availability, interoperability, recoverability, testability. Now. Take testability, that's a really good one. Uh, that generally means not only the ease of testing in our architectures, but also the completeness of testing. How, com how, how complete have we done the testing in that particular application? And there's certain architecture so styles that support high levels of testability. But is that really a concern for a business user or a business stakeholder? testability or, or interoperability or modularity or even agility because business stakeholders generally talk in these kind of terms. User satisfaction, time to market, mergers and acquisitions, uh, we need higher competitive advantage, what about regulatory compliance? These are the concerns of a business stakeholder. And so what we end up getting typically in most situations is this lost in translation aspect where we talk in one language, fault tolerance, testability, deployability, and the business stakeholders are talking in another language, i.e. user satisfaction or I need competitive advantage. So let's explore some of these illities that we talk about in a software architect and see how they translate to a business stakeholder. So let's say that a business stakeholder's focus is time to market, and that's what they want. That translates into illities for us in terms of things like agility, that ability to respond quickly to change, combined with high levels of testability. Again, that's not only the ease of testing, but also the completeness of testing, and then deployability. And not only the ease of deployability in terms of the ceremony involved, but how frequently we can deploy, and perhaps more importantly, what is the risk of deployment? If every time we deploy, we break something, uh, that's what deployability is really referring to. High levels of deployability mean we can deploy every day, we can deploy every hour, and we've reduced the risk and the ceremony involved with that. And so these three together really translate to that time to market. And Correspondingly, these three together can be communicated back to a business stakeholder in terms of saying we are supporting high levels of faster time to market based on these three illities. Uh, here's another very common one. I need better user satisfaction. Now, architecturally, can we control user satisfaction? And the answer is we can. There are some elements of user satisfaction without having to do surveys. For example, this really translates into high levels of performance. The faster an application, generally the happy users will be. Internal or external users, in other words, internal users or the public. Availability, if the application keeps coming down, I'm gonna have unhappy users. Uh, high levels of fault tolerance, so that when, as we know, applications do fail. And when they fail, only portions of that application fail so that some users are still operational. That's fault tolerance. High levels of testability. This reduces those bugs associated um, with errors that users find. Uh, deployability. And again, that was really how fast or frequent we can deploy changes that business users or even external users need. And also that risk of deployment so we don't keep breaking everything. And finally, agility. And again, that was defined as the ability to respond quickly to change that users are looking for in terms of bugs or new features. And so all of these together really do support that level of user satisfaction. And by focusing on these illities, we can now communicate these back to the business stakeholder to say we are working on high levels of user satisfaction in our architectures. 
Here's another one. We must be ready for upcoming mergers and acquisitions. And so this is a concern of the business stakeholder. Our, are we prepared for those mergers and acquisitions? And this translates into various illities, such as agility, the ability to respond quickly to change. Certainly, the more we acquire and merge, the more customer base and data that we have. Can we scale our systems to support that? Uh, learnability, not only in our systems, but other systems, to be able to incorporate other changes into those. Uh, our learnability is quite an interesting um, illity, and that really refers to two things. It refers to simplicity as well as documentation. Um, how, what kind of documentation do we have to have our systems be learnable? Interoperability, certainly, to be able to interrupt with mergers and acquisitions. And that, by the way, includes things like standards-based and and uh, extensibility in terms of API layers and, and open systems. And then finally, adaptability as well. And of course, we can take all of these and translate to the business user that we are focusing on mergers and acquisitions and preparing our systems for those. And so you can see that bi-directional relationship there. Uh, let's do one more. Um, our business stakeholders say that we have to maintain competitive advantage. And what in the world does that mean? How do we communicate that back and forth? Well, for us, that's, again, agility. This shows up quite a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> the ability to respond quickly to change combined with high levels of testability and deployability. Um, also, scalability comes into play here because the more you compete, uh, the more customers you generally have. And so these are some of the, the key points, availability, in order to maintain that competitive advantage, our systems being up and available, and also fault tolerance as well. Adaptability, to be able to adapt to changes in the market, that maintains a competitive advantage, and we can translate these back over to the business stakeholder. You know, isn't it interesting? I just showed you mappings from really that that business stakeholder communication to what we use as architects. And so what I wanted to try to do was now map these back over. So agility, if we focus on agility, what does that really translate to in business terms? And in fact, it's all four of these, time to market, user satisfaction, mergers, acquisitions. Uh, testability refers to all those as well. I started to do this mapping, and here's an extremely important point about this lesson. This won't work. I quickly realized this is not the right direction of the mapping. We really can't map each individual illity to a particular type of business stakeholder functionality. And here's the reason why, everybody. Because agility does not equal time to market. See, the key point is that each individual illity alone does not achieve that business concern. However, watch this. Agility plus testability plus deployability does equal time to market. And so I quickly realized, trying to do this mapping, that it's the important thing when we translate back to a stakeholder, a business stakeholder, that we incorporate all of these illities. Now, perhaps the one exception to the rule might be user satisfaction because the more we increase performance, the user will be happy even though the system keeps coming down. But the same kind of rule applies. In order to achieve full user satisfaction, we need all of these illities. And so this is a very important lesson learned when we start trying to translate the illities to business concerns. Uh, for more information, certainly uh, you can go to Software Architecture Monday where this video is housed um, uh, in the lessons and also uh, check out upcoming events in developer2architect.com slash upcoming-events.html to see you know, uh, where I'm speaking at conferences and, and user groups uh, around the country and uh, overseas as well. Uh, so this has been Software Architecture Monday, Lesson 37, Translating Quality Attributes to Business Concerns. Uh, a shout out to Mei Yan. Thank you so much in my prior training uh, for this question, which gave me the inspiration for this particular lesson. So anyway, stay tuned next Monday for another lesson in software architecture. Thank you very much.